all living creatures on Earth, inclusive of humans, are comprised of many, many cells. These cells are often regarded as the basic units of life. When the human body needs to grow or needs to repair tissue damage, our DNA has to replicate in order to produce new cells that have all the necessary genetic information for growth. An aspect of DNA replication is polypeptide synthesis. This video explains the process of polypeptide synthesis. All human cells are comprised of different structures, one of the most prominent structures being that of the nucleus. Within the nucleus, there is a genome, which is split into 23 pairs of chromosomes. Each of these chromosomes contains a strand of deoxyribonucleic acid, better known as DNA. Within this strand of DNA are different sections which are known as genes, which contain the instructions to make proteins. The double helix structure of DNA is made up of a sugar phosphate backbone and various base pairs. These base pairs are cytosine, which goes with guanine, and adenine, which goes with thymine. An enzyme called DNA helicase unwinds the double helix by breaking the hydrogen bonds between the base pairs. The previous double helix DNA structure has been separated into two parent strands. Only one of these strands actually contains the genetic information to make a protein, and this is known as the non-coding strand or sense strand. The strand without the genetic information is known as the anti-sense strand. In this case, for the video, the bottom strand will be the sense strand, and the top one will be the anti-sense strand. Next. RNA primase adds a primer to the original sense strand of DNA. Ribonucleic acid or RNA nucleotides enter as complementary bases and will form messenger RNA. The assembling of the RNA nucleotides is controlled by an enzyme called RNA polymerase. The original DNA determines the sequence the free bases are added to the messenger RNA. This process is known as transcription. Once again, cytosine goes with guanine, however adenine now goes with uracil. Uracil has replaced thymine in RNA, as energetically it is less expensive to process and much more efficient. The mRNA now leaves the nucleus through a nuclear pore or envelope and enters the cytoplasm. In the cytoplasm, it will then encounter and bind with ribosomes. Ribosomes are often regarded as protein factories. We are now within the active side of the ribosome. The ribosome reads the code of the mRNA and produces a chain made up of amino acids. There are 20 possible types of amino acid molecules, such as methionine, serine and glycine. Transfer RNA molecules carry the amino acid to the mRNA. These bases are temporarily read three at a time and decoded accordingly. For example, the messenger RNA, AUG, is therefore complementary with the triplet UAC. AUG from mRNA is known as the codon, and UAC is from tRNA and is known as an anticodon. The amino acids on the tail end of tRNA begin to link together, forming a polypeptide chain. The tRNA carrier splits and moves into the cytoplasm to pick up new amino acids. The polypeptide chain is processed back into the cell where it can be moulded into the correct shape for its function, which will result in the final protein.